Um, hello, I'm Mary Ellen Jackson. I'm the director of the New Hampshire Center for Nonprofits. I'm going to take just a few minutes and tell you about the nonprofit sector in New Hampshire. You may not know this, but there are actually 7,800 nonprofits in New Hampshire, and one in eight people in New Hampshire work for the sector. It actually produces about $8 billion in revenue. Now, what is the nonprofit sector? It's everything from your local library to your after school youth program. It includes um, everything from food pantries to childcare centers to museums to environmental groups, even some colleges and hospitals are nonprofit. So, nonprofit is the nonprofit sector is diverse, it's large, and in New Hampshire, uh, it's a very, very important sector. It's part of what makes a community. Uh, many of you may uh, know people who work or volunteer for nonprofits, and historically it's been considered work that is charitable and for a good, co good cause. Um, our center, which provides leadership development and advocacy for the nonprofit community of New Hampshire, we've just put out a report talking about how essential the nonprofit sector is in New Hampshire. If you work for a nonprofit, um, your job prospects are actually pretty good in the future because three out of four directors of nonprofits are predicted to retire in the next 10 years. But right now, the economy is a big challenge for the nonprofit sector because, of course, we all know the, um, there's been a lot of economic stress, and nonprofits depend on donations and they depend on government fees. So you have to roll up your sleeves when you work in a nonprofit uh, and do a lot of fundraising. However, nonprofits in the future are going to be doing a lot of partnerships. It might interest you to know that often two or three nonprofits work together in a community. Just recently, the NPR, the New Hampshire Public Radio, teamed up with the New Hampshire Food Bank, and together they did a fundraising campaign and in one day raised over 2,000, no, 20,000 meals for the homeless. So I would encourage people to consider working in the nonprofit sector. It's a very vibrant sector and it's incredibly important work. 